What's up everyone, Technic here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install H Encore on your PS Vita. So to do this, you're going to need a Windows PC to follow along with me. You're going to need a PS Vita 1000 or a PS Vita 2000. If this is a PS Vita 1000 that you have, you're going to need an official Sony memory card. If not, then you cannot continue until you get one. For the PS Vita 2000, however, it has one one gigabyte of internal storage, so you don't necessarily need the memory card. But later on, if you want to do an SD to Vita, then you're going to need that. And last but certainly not least, you're going to need the data transfer cable to the corresponding PS Vita. So if it's a PS Vita 1000, you're going to need the proprietary cord, which is probably the worst thing that was ever invented. And you're going to need a standard USB, I believe it's USB-B, for the PSV 2000. And the reason why I say data transfer cable, because there's some USB cables out there that are only capable of charging in instead of a charging and data transfer. So make sure that you can actually transfer data with your USB cord. If you have, have all that, let's go ahead and get started. Just showing a quick example, um, this is actually my main PS Vita, this is a PS Vita 1000, it's running 3.65 Enzo, meaning it's permanently on custom firmware, um, it's, it's just in the name, um, you can uninstall the permanent custom firmware if you wanted to anyway, but uh, this is not the <laughs> PS Vita that I'll be working on this video today. In this video, I'll be dealing with my buddy's PS Vita 2000, so before we actually get started with anything, I want you to go ahead and go to your PS Vita, go to your settings, go to start, go to system, and go to system information. Your PS Vita has to be on 3.65 through 3.73 to actually install H Encore. If your PS Vita is anything lower than that, then stay tuned for a future video because I'll be showing y'all how to um, put custom firmware on those kind of firmware and that process is actually a lot easier. But for this video, this is for H Encore. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be working with the website called vita.hacks.guide. Vita I'm actually going to be linking this in the description so you can follow along. But the method may change in the future. This video is being made currently at the end of 2020, but you never know, some things could change, but it's gonna be pretty much the same process all around uh, once you get down to downgrading right after we install HN Core. But let's go ahead and continue. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to get started. And it's going to be telling you to download a key program that you need. So it's just telling you uh, what firmware you're on and everything, but for our method, we're going to be installing H Encore. So again, this is from firmware 3.65 to 3.73. So let's go ahead and go to installing H Encore. And then go ahead and scroll down. Now, remember when I told you about the PSV to 1000 and 2000 difference? So, and the PSTV is also included in this, but I'm going to, I didn't really include it. I have a PSTV, but I didn't include it because the same method is kind of like the PS Vita 2000. So if you have a PS Vita 1000, you must also have an official Sony memory card of any size to follow this guide. And this restriction does not apply to the PS Vita 2000 or the PSTV as those devices have built-in memory cards. So they have a built-in memory card with one gigabyte of storage already. So it has enough memory to run uh, Final HE, which is the final version of uh, H Encore. So if you are using Mac OS or Linux, you will be required to compile Final HE yourself. So this is why I recommend having a Windows PC because it just works better that way. So we're going to go ahead and click on this link right here and it should take us to the GitHub page of Final H Encore. And then you're going to be downloading this file right here. Then go ahead and let that download. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in WinRAR is <laughs> asking me to buy the program, but yeah, you, anybody that's like an old school computer nerd like me, they know the story of WinRAR already. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and open up my folder. P 
ESV to hacking files because I planned on compiling my own uh, my own kind of uh, file database for this if anything ever goes wrong with this with the uh, files being like scattered in different places on a GitHub so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this you can actually copy this to your desktop if you want there we go, final HT, and if we open up the uh, folder, you can see the final HT application right here. So, copy the copy the contents of final HE.zip to a folder on your computer. Launch final HE on your computer. If you are prompted to allow final HE networks access through the firewall to do so, launch the content manager application on your device. So, I'm not I'm not gonna read all this stuff. Um, you can pause and read the video if you want, but. In actuality, the program will tell you to do all this. So as soon as everything is downloaded, you can go ahead and kind of copy everything. Like you just copy the contents and copy it on your desktop, or you can copy it into a folder like I did. It really doesn't matter. So afterwards, go ahead and go to the final HE application, and it's going to open up. And go ahead and check both of these blocks. It's it's going to do this because it's actually a coding program. So Windows Defender Firewall is going to be like, what the what are you doing? And uh, <laughs> so go ahead and allow access, and then your computer is going to allow the access. So um, afterwards, there is that trim to uh, that option right there. It actually applies to. Uh, PS Vita's that are on 3.68 or below so if your PS Vita is on 3.69 and above you don't have to select uh, trim H and quarter to 13 megabytes by the way so mine being on 3.70 um, I don't have to check that check mark that so as soon as it says waiting for a connection to PS Vita launch content manager on the PS Vita and connect to the computer so we're gonna go ahead and go back to our PS Vita real quick now I'm going to show this in real time on the PS Vita and on the computer screen. So we're going to hold the PS button, click on flight mode, go into content manager, go to start, go to copy content. And then go to PC and USB cable. So if this error happens, we need to install QCMA. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the site and go to install QCMA driver Win USB right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and run the executable file. Okay, so now that we have restarted our computer and installed the plugin, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our PS Vita. Run the program first, go back to our PS Vita. Unplug the USB and plug it back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just so it can connect. And then we're gonna go to Content Manager. And again, PS Vita is on airplane mode, and then go to start. Then we're going to go to copy content. And as you can see, it is connected to the PS Vita now. So now we're going to go to the let's go button. So it's gonna download everything that it needs to download. And again, this is why I'm doing it on uh, both the computer screen and the PS Vita screen, so you can see what happens on both of them. And it's going to create the PS Vita image. So now, 
launch the content manager and connect to your computer, select PC and PS Vita system applications and PS Vita, transfer HN Core to your PS Vita, run HN Encore, and yay, that's it. So now we're back on the PS Vita, and we're going to do exactly what it tells us to do. So go to PC to PS Vita system, go to applications, and then click on PS Vita, and you should see the H Encore file. And then we're going to go to copy. So click check park and then copy and then select the content items will be copied to the system. Okay. Then it's going to go ahead and copy it to your system. Now, I think the last time I did this with Trinity custom firmware, it looked like it was going to take like days and like years to actually copy. But it shortened down from like 16 minutes to like two minutes and then it just started copying like quick as heck. So it looks like it's going to do the same in this case. So we're going to give it some time. I will be fast forward in this part, by the way. So as soon as it's done, go ahead and go to cancel, press the home button, and then close out the application. And you should see a new application pop up called H Encore 2. So afterwards, we're going to go ahead and press hold the home button, take us off flight mode, and close out of this menu. So at this point, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, and another thing that I should tell you to do is to go to system, go to auto start settings, and go ahead and unclick these two right here, or unclick the download update file system. So it doesn't download the update for your PS Vita and make it ever, all of this null and void. So we'll go ahead and close this out. Go to H Encore 2. Now, again, I used to use the Trinity custom format method, so I heard that the success rate in this one is actually pretty low, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it anyway. So go to start. You cannot earn trophies in the system application. Do you still want to start this application? Go ahead and click yes. Then it should do some weird menus and stuff, but like I said, the success rate, sometimes this will not work, by the way. Sometimes this won't work at all, and it'll tell you like an error. I actually want to try to uh, get the error message so you guys can see it, but for now, I'm just going to show you the successful start. So go ahead and go down to install Henkaku. Press the X button or the circle button, whichever um, kind of PSV you have. This is an American PSV, so it's going to be the X button. Maybe it is circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's circle. And then go to, after it says success, go to download Vita Shell and press the circle button as well. And it's going to download Vita Shell. Oh, I have to actually connect to Wi-Fi, hold on. <laughs> so now it's going to download the eboot.bin. And after all this is done, go ahead and click exit. And you're going to see a new application called Vita Shell. So go ahead and go back to your settings. And you're going to see a new option called Hinkaku settings. So go ahead and click on Enable Unsafe Homebrew. And go to your Spoop version and put 3.73 because this will be the version that. Uh, your PSP is going to spoof Sony into thinking that your PSP is actually on. And three, you will always want to spoof it to the latest firmware. And like I said, the latest firmware right now is 3.73. So that's this is the version that you're going to have to spoof it to. So then we're going to go to system for information. And as you can see, it says 3.70 with some kanji right next to it. So as of right now, your PS Vita is on temporary custom firmware, meaning if I were to hold the power button and power it off right now, I'm going to have to go back into this HN Core 2 
application and I'm going to have to, uh, you know, install the custom firmware again. So I have to do this every time that I power on my PS Vita. That being said, um, your PS Vita is now on temporary custom firmware. So mine is on 3.70 temporary custom firmware. Temporary custom firmware is custom firmware that has to be reactivated every time that you uh, power on to your PS Vita. So at this point in time, this video is done and I've been showing you how to install custom firmware on your PS Vita running firmware version 3.65 to 3.73 so in the next video i'll be teaching you how to downgrade your ps vita so this is tech nick uh, thank you all for watching if you have any questions i won't hesitate to answer them in the comments and i'll see you in the next video